I don't have a gut issue, but I have an autoimmune problem. Mm -hmm. Should I still be coming to you? Because it sounds like a lot of work you do would be able to help me too. Yeah, so again, going back to that theory, like where does autoimmune start? It starts with leaky gut, and then the gut wall becomes permeable, and then things get into the bloodstream that aren't supposed to be there. And the immune system reacts, right? and it gets you confused with a foreign invader, and now it's attacking yourself, right? Autoimmune, okay? The autoimmune, when you look at that kind of thing, we look at three different approaches. Remove the negative things that are affecting or triggering that, you know, that process. You try to support the tissue that was irritated, damaged, or inflamed. And then try to ramp up the immune response so that the immune system is more robust and it's less tilted and can kind of confused on yourself versus something else that's not anything to do with your body like gluten or any food protein or bacteria, whatever it is. Autoimmune and gut obviously highly related. So we would look at the gut in, in a lot of those patients, but if the gut is clean, we'd look at other things in the blood typically like, you know, whether it's immunoglobulins or immune you know, type panels that you can look at that are a little bit um, more specific for, for autoimmune patients.